In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a 7 volt salt water battery using just a few common parts that you have around the shop. The first thing you'll need are 9 baby food jars. The next thing is 9 galvanized nails, uh, 3 to 4 inches long is fine. And then you'll need 9 copper wires, uh, number 12, about 18 inches long each will work. The last thing you'll need is a piece of plywood 8 inches by 8 inches. So the first thing we're going to do is create some layout lines by placing the jars on top of the plywood and then marking the center lines in each direction. Next, uh, take a square and extend the center lines in both directions so that we know where to put our wires. Next, lay out two marks at the crosshairs a little bit apart so that you have some room and one of the holes will be the anode and the other one will be the cathode. And just go ahead and repeat that all the way across. Next, take your square and extend those lines and make sure all of them line up so this looks nice and even. And when you're done with that, move to the next column and then complete the remaining holes. And you're going to have a total of 18 when you're done. We're trying to get as much surface area as possible. So one way to do that is to coil your copper wire so that there's more of it in the electrolyte and so you can just grab anything in this case I'm just using a dowel of wood and then just take that and wrap it around there until you have a nice coil about halfway down. Before we begin drilling any holes we have to mark out our board and it works like this. In the upper left hand corner we're going to have a negative and a positive and then we're going to jump over and have a negative and positive all the way across on the first row. And these are going to be in series. Now from the upper right hand corner you have a positive going to a negative on the second row and then positive to negative to the left. And that will be in series going to the left and then we're going to jump down and go from a positive to negative in the lower left hand corner and work our way to the right and we will end up with a positive in the lower right hand corner. So now that the board is laid out we're going to drill all of the positives at one time and then we'll go back and drill all the negatives. And the reason for this is that the uh, hole size is slightly different between the two and you're just going to have to take the uh, nail that you have and the wire you have and put it up to your drill index bit and pick the right drill. We are now ready to assemble so I'm going to take a nail and put it down and get the height that I want and then I'm going to repeat that for all the remaining nails. Here's what it'll look like when you're done. The next thing you do is take your copper wire and position it next to the nail and try to get the height about the same. Then bend the copper wire over toward the nail on the next cell. Just finger tight is fine for now because we're going to tighten this up with a pair of pliers in a few minutes. Now go ahead and repeat that for all of the copper wires and remember that within an individual cell you want to make sure that the copper does not touch the anode in the cell itself. We're going to attach the copper wire to the nail on the adjacent cell only. 
and that way they will all be in series and will have a good electrical connection. So at this point you're going to have an anode in one corner and a cathode in the opposite corner. We want to test to make sure that the copper wire has a good connection to the nail next to it. And so for this I'm going to use a conductivity meter. It's time for a dry fit test to make sure that everything fits properly. Now is a good time to take a pair of pliers and tighten up every one of these connections and then trim the ends for a nice clean look. Now take four cups of water and six teaspoons of salt and fill your baby food jars. We are now ready for a test. So carefully place your battery assembly down into your jars and then get out your voltmeter. Now I'm going to hook this up to my solar battery charger and see what I can see down on the bottom. So as you can see we've got bubbling on the nails and it's starting to charge. All right, now we're going to power a light bulb. And one thing I want to mention is that notice that the color of the electrolyte is turned green, and that's from the copper wire. So here's an LED flashlight that I took apart, and we're going to turn it on. To receive updates on the next video where I'm going to do an amp hour test, please subscribe to my channel.